In an interview with AutoLine, Toyota stated that their first vehicle to use solid-state batteries will be available by 2025. Is this the automobile and environmental breakthrough we have been waiting for? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share with you what a solid-state battery is and the role it hopes to play in the future of the automobile industry. What is a solid-state battery? A solid-state battery, as the name implies, is made up of solid electrolytes rather than liquid electrolytes. They are compact batteries with greater energy density, longer lifespan, and faster charging. Researchers in the early 19th century hit gold when they discovered solid electrolyte-powered batteries. So this isn't really a new breakthrough in the realm of science. However, it wasn't until the early 20th century that it began to make more ripples, as the thought of putting these types of batteries in electric cars became a reality. Electric vehicles have been around for close to 200 years and have seen several advancements from its motor to its batteries. So what difference does a solid-state battery make in the grand scheme of things? In recent decades, liquid batteries, typically a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, have been used to power electric cars. However, many of the drawbacks that affect electric vehicles that keep people from using them, like limited range on a single charge and frustratingly slow charging, can be solved by solid-state batteries. This means your car can charge significantly in the time it takes to place and box a drive through order. Even more than a zero to full charge in 15 minutes, a solid-state battery will cover two times the distance a liquid battery would. Imagine the possibility of a 700-kilometer coverage in one single charge. What's even most impressive with this technology is its eco-friendliness and sustainability. More than saving fuel, time, and money, the solid-state battery-powered vehicle would support zero-emission driving. Plants and people are saved from the pollution of carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide. Now that we know how amazing solid-state batteries are and the wonders they'll do in the EV market, let's look more closely at why Toyota is making the news. Toyota is not the only automobile company in the race to mass production for solid-state batteries. Companies like QuantumScape and Samsung SDI are pulling their own weight and showing growth projections also for the next 10 years. However, Toyota seems to be playing this game smartly. In April 2020, Toyota, in a joint venture with Panasonic, launched Prime Planet Energy and Solutions Inc., a battery production company situated in Japan. We know that any sort of new technology starts out expensive, but how is this research and development happening? Turns out, Japan is putting together a $19 billion fund to support decarbonization technology, with a significant portion of the funds going toward the development of solid-state batteries. Well, guess who is getting the most of this financial backing? You're definitely right. Toyota. Already, they have over a thousand solid-state battery patents, more than any other car manufacturer in the world. However, if this thing fails to materialize, it won't be the first time the public has been psyched about a new technological possibility, only for our hopes to be dashed. So if you are like me, you are wondering when exactly is this happening? You see, according to a 12-second long video on Toyota's official YouTube page, the first prototype has already been made. The video showed the battery being used in a car out on the road. Toyota's chief scientist and the head of the Toyota Research Institute, Gil Pratt, stated that the company plans to commercialize solid-state batteries in the first half of this decade. Mass production is said to commence in 2025. That's three years shy from now. That's the earliest promised date in the mass production race. QuantumScape, who is next in line, announced commercialization for 2030. Surprisingly, Pratt stated that the first Toyota vehicles to receive the new batteries will be hybrids rather than fully electric vehicles. This seems like a reverse move rather than a forward one. But it's not surprising considering Toyota's history with EVs. Toyota was an early electrification pioneer, paving the way for companies like Tesla and others by demonstrating that vehicles with alternative powertrains could be extremely popular. However, the company has since fallen far behind its rivals like General Motors, Ford, Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, Kia, Mazda, Nissan, Honda, and Jaguar who have since gone on to make fully electric vehicles. At this point, it's worth noting that the term electrification encompasses hybrids, plug-in hybrids, hybrid electric vehicles, HEVs, hydrogen-powered fuel cell cars, and pure electric vehicles, or battery electric vehicles, BEVs. Now, back to the matter. While Toyota has invested heavily in the former powertrains, the company is attempting to postpone the transition to the latter as it does not yet have a mass-produced EV. 
With over 24,000 hybrid patents churned out already, Toyota's game plan is both strategic and tactical. They are pushing HEV, hybrid electric vehicles, more than EV, electric vehicles, or BEVs, most likely to offer their customers reliability, which is something Toyota has always been known for. One example of their hybrid product that has made a name in the market is the Toyota Prius Plug-in Hybrid. It has an extended EV driving with its battery chargeable from a domestic source, takes two hours to charge fully, and can drive up to 50 kilometers in EV-only mode. So what sense does it make for a hybrid car to receive the promising solid-state batteries first? Well, it does make sense considering some of the cons of the solid-state batteries. Most concerning is its thermal stability in cold-weathered environments that might cause the batteries to grow dendrites on their surface, reducing their lifespan and effectiveness. Although Toyota has said it plans to overcome this challenge for the solid-state battery release date, but oh well. If they can't, their cars will still have combustion engines to fall back on. All in all, solid-state batteries are an exciting look into the future. Hopefully, mass production helps to bring costs down, which will make it accessible to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next videos and uploads. See you in the next video.